What is up you guys? Welcome into Ark Survival Evolved here on the island. This is going to be episode 6. Today we are taming some more creatures. But a lot has happened leading up to this point of me being ready to start taming some more. Um, there's a little bit that I missed. As you can see, Slumps is not on my shoulder. That is because we had a death that I was actually not recording while I was playing around. I took Beasley out, who is also now dead. Uh, we were out in the ocean swimming around just trying to gain some levels. And I made the mistake of thinking I could fight some jellyfish. And jellyfish show no mercy at all. They killed all three of us. So that sucked. I went to try to retrieve my stuff. I was unable to as the jellyfish were just surrounding it. There was two baryonics around it. So I went and crafted all new things. Uh, I actually found these on some alpha raptors, which you're going to see here in just a minute. I got my pike made. Um, I do did get a sword and also this awesome bow, which I also got off those alpha raptors, which you're going to see right about now. Alpha raptor. Oh my god! This will definitely give us some levels. As soon as I kill it. For now, but this one's pretty weak. Oh, it's only level 8. Nice, that gave RG. Oh, that gave RG tons of levels. Melee damage with two of them. Pump three in a movement speed. Alright, let's get back to base. Got ourselves some wreck. Ah, not worth payment. Definitely worth killing. Get me Mr. Wreck. She don't want to come get me. Where'd he go? No way he died. Oh, he's right there. Dude, that, that was sick looking. It's an alpha. Take it out so we can get here. Dude, these RGs are beasts. Especially when you level them up. Gallop on us. Okay. Did he just recover health for eating that? I think he did. Bastard. Yeah, dude, this one's a lot stronger than the last one. I feel like I should turn dinosaur damage up. Like, I feel like the wild dinos don't do much damage. But I have it at one. I thought it was a level 60 alpha raptor. Give me anything good? That's one we already had. I don't really. 99 durability. 106 durability, so that's a better act. 135 damage. 149 damage. That bow we have is still better. That's not. 
That one didn't really drop anything good, huh? All right. Get out. I think this is the one that I haven't found yet. It is. I have always tried to maintain a strict neutrality when it comes to tribal matters. But then again, I have never had an offer this tempting from someone as respectable as Mr. Nerva. Not only has he offered to provide me with test subjects, but he has also expressed a mutual interest in investigating the obelisks. All he asks from me is that I provide him with reliable counsel. I would trust few tribes to be able to make good on such promises, but Mr. Nerva's new legion is perhaps the most powerful tribe in the world. Indeed, if they maintain their current trajectory, they may be the only powerful tribe on the island. Sorry, need the levels. I'm gonna let this go to waste. Now let's get those levels. Ah! See, we need to keep wiping them anyways. Look, there's still tons of low levels. I don't know why they were spawning so low. I had the difficulty level set to one. I should spawn in higher level stuff anyways, wouldn't it? I think it should. I don't know. You need to get levels. You're hot. Man, this guy is hot and cold. He just keeps changing. Well, I'll take that shitting. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. What the? Oh. Yeah. Gosh, I am a powerful being. Before uh, Belzy died, we got ourselves a tech raptor. Can't really see its colors very well in this lighting. Kind of like a red and gold, almost like a like an Iron Man. So what I was gonna name him is wait, what can I name you? Op no, Op no, Op. What the? 
hell are you doing? Change it. We're gonna name him Techie. Start. You know, like Tony Stark. But it's a tech raptor. I know it's stupid, but it worked. But I did craft my fur armor. So we do have it in RG's inventory. So now we're gonna head out where it's snowy. Uh, well, here we are. Probably a lot of people that aren't gonna like this. The way of nature though. now all right so after seeing all that you can see we got some organic polymer we did get our tech raptor um yeah it was just it was it was a lot of fun doing all that but today I have something very, very, oh, I didn't mean that button. Very important. I want to tame. And that comes with, I'm going to have to get the stuff together to build a taming pen. So I'm going to get to work on that real quick. All right, the trap is built. I hope it works. There he is. I was able to separate him from his group a little bit earlier. So. Now we got him here. Now it's just a matter of get him over to the trap. It's a level 104 Allosaurus. Oh, shit. Oh, Alright, go ahead. Do your thing. He just sits here and wrecks everything. Let me just clear everything out of the region. Woo! Boom! I got trapped in my own trap. Whoop. Yes. Now wait. He's down. We need prime meat. There's literally nothing around here we can get prime meat off of. I don't want to get too far from him because I don't want to lose him. This 
just prime meat right here. Hey, there she is. We'll name her Allie. Allie the Allosaur. Yes. What's up, buddy? Put a saddle on her. I did craft the saddle before heading out. There we go. Oh my god. Yes. What level is she? 155. She is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful. All right, you, I need you to follow me. All right, let's head back to base. Oh, yeah. That already gaining levels. Now we need to find a male one. Pretty sure I'm not too far from home. Home is this way. If I go the right direction, I should be there in no time. Holy shit, this thing eats a lot. Look, it's already taking 23 raw meat. That's okay. We can get more raw meat. Yeah. God, dude, the speed on its attack. I've never had an Alistor before. But I'm glad I have one. What the hell was that? Hello, Pooh. Fighting on flyers, so this is a little different for me. But I love it. Alright, let's get back to base. You guys? Is that on a metal run? I found us a new ape. New little monkey. We're gonna take him. Her. We're gonna take her. Shove him. We just gotta shove Barry right in her ass. Right in her ass. Right in her ass. Okay. And we wait. And we wait. Yes! She is tamed. We're gonna name her M. This one won't die, I promise. I promise. Pick up. Yes! We have monkey. All right, check that out, you guys. We got tons of metals, so 300, 600, 1,200, 1,500, 1,800, about 1,870. Yeah, we got a lot going. So that, I mean, it won't make that much, but still a lot. But what I want to do before we call this an episode Go play around with Allie. Do this. Leave that open. Should be good. Continue working on a little bit of a dino wipe.
go ahead and I've been pumping health, so let's give melee damage at that level. Oh, did this drop? Getting stuck, and we're tired. Jump off her. We should definitely put some into her stamina. What do we got here? A packy rhinoceros saddle. I'll take it. Blueprint for a dinosaur gateway. Oh, she pooped. On to the next one. Ah, yeah. Not a chance. Is the tech raptor over there? Let's get our stammies back. Oh, look, we got a level. Oh, we got two levels. Let's go into stamina with one. Melee damage with the other. We should also work on that movement speed too. That's a lot, bitch. Get our stamina back. Find more dinos. Dom, dom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is a strong one. That was a level 108. That would have been a good one to tame. Nice, two levels. Go ahead and munch down this prime meat. The rest are just ignoring us. Alright, yeah, let's go into movement speed. Those two levels. The raptor just doesn't care about us, or what? It knew it stood no chance. Find more stuff to kill. Oh, another level. Melee damage. On to the next one. Look what I found. documented and also sheep granted ovis arkham is quite different from the modern domesticated sheep and even from wild sheep species such as ovis orientalis the unique markings on its face give it a striking appearance and the male's horns possess a unique shape that is unlike any other species in the ovis as one might expect ovis stands little chance against the island's many predators like the dodo its continued survival in the face of these challenges is a mystery. Some survivors have found herds of ovis to be useful in farmland. Their wool can be repeatedly safely shorn with the proper tools, and cooked lamb chops are a popular dish among some tribes, as is their hypernutritious mutton. Every now and then, a survivor with a sense of humor will attempt to utilize ovis as a mount, although the joke becomes significantly less funny once their slow Ovis is run down by a pack of raptors. One tribe has grown particularly attached to Ovis, perhaps uncomfortably so. I don't know the tribe's actual name, but I refer to them as sheep lovers. Sheep lovers? <laughs> So 
take one bite out of that raptor and he said, hell no, get me out of here. Wait, did I just circle back to my base? No, this isn't my base. Okay. Thought I was coming up on my base. I was like, did I really just... There's a fight we want to do. Levels. Spino. Oh, uh, level 12. It's too far of a drop for me. Ah! Spino sofa right now. We will go trophy hunting. Just not right now. Really? Wait, what? What are you doing? Get up here. God damn it, him. Get this next dino charge. Easy. We are just gaining levels. Got ourselves a level. Going to melee damage again. Oh, got two levels. Going to melee damage. Oh. I just killed a bunch of parasaurs. I didn't think it was anything worth. Gordon. Just parasaurs. Now we got trites! I can do. Damn raptor. Got stuck under my crotch. Couldn't do anything about it. Uh, let's drop all this stuff. All right, so with our two levels, we'll go into melee damage again and movement speed. Oh, God. Unacceptable. Get it, get it. Good alley. Alley girl. Stego. Man, that Stego's got pretty colors. Too bad it's gotta die! but obviously not this one. Ooh. 
gotta get used to fighting with these aloes. Let's just pump you with meat. Let's just stuff as much meat as possible inside of this thing. Alright, now for levels. Two, two and two, three into melee damage, one into movement speed. Get that movement speed up to 101. Nice, and we got a level two. Let's do us uh, stamina. Oh yeah. All right, it got really dark. I didn't really do too much. I think I gained one more level on the walk home. We just put it into, I'm pretty sure it was melee damage. So I think gasoline you do by hide and oil, right? Just in the forge. Oh. I believe that's how it is. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Um, another thing I want to check though. How are we doing on charcoal? Oh yeah, we're doing great on charcoal. I just want to be able to have plenty of charcoal so that that way... Uh, I just barely got that going. So that that way when we... Ooh, we need more spark powder. Uh, once we get the shotgun, we're able to craft plenty of... Plenty of... Ammo for it. Oh man, it won't hold anymore. Well, let's go ahead and pull all this gunpowder we already have out. Reason for it to be in there. We could also pull out the narcotics we have made. Do that. Gosh. We should go see how we're doing on narco berries as well. Go ahead, throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. And go ahead and keep crafting more. Uh, let's go see how we're doing on narco berries. It's dark as shit, so I do have a torch. Oh, I never showed you guys. I did raise these up. I'm gonna put another greenhouse eventually right in front of it. That's why I did leave that pipe going straight right there. Because, why am I stuck? There we go. So that, that way next time... Oh man, look at all that. Tons of narco berries. Nice. That's what we like to see right there. That way when I do put the greenhouse, I can just keep continuing that pipe and I'll just use that pipe. Unless I decide to move base, which might happen because as I've been flying around and seeing other spots, not gonna lie, I've been seeing some really nice spots that I'm like, that would be an awesome base. So we'll just see what happens, really. Um, drugs. Boom. Crap, as much of those as you possibly can, so. Right, we'll go ahead and put our narcotics onto here for now just in case I use them for more prank darts instead of arrows. But I'm not 100%. Go ahead and throw all this gunpowder on here. So, do I just craft as far as ammo goes? Do I just craft the shotgun shells here? I do need simple bullets for it. Can we craft any of those? A couple. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of simple bullets going real quick. See if this is working yet. Oh yes! That is how you do gasoline. Nice. Nice. So we'll have to go kill more tech stuff eventually. Because what I'll probably do between this episode and next episode is I'm going to build a little... I'm going to build... I decided instead of attaching to this base, I got so much room out here. I mean, you can't really see. I might. I'm probably just going to tear this down. But I'll come out here somewhere, and I'm just going to build a workshop, which is where I'm going to put my smitty, probably my cooking pot, you know. I'm going to set up just really anything as far as for crafting. Can you get in there, please? God damn it. Just really anything for crafting. I'll put, my, uh, I'll put a smitty in there, you know, get this one out of here. And then this smitty right here will just, well, this smitty right here will get destroyed. 
over in here will just mostly be for I don't know maybe I'll put the cooking stuff over here instead and just kind of set this up as a house and then have a workshop in a different section it all just turn out well but on that note that is actually where we are gonna call it so thank you so much for watching if you could drop a like a comment I'd greatly appreciate it I hope to catch you in the next video take care y'all